Hey, today our cup of joe is all about, well, a cup of joe and its history. Well, we go back to the 9th century and uh, probably apocryphal story about an Ethiopian goat herder who noted that when his goats ate the berries of a certain tree, they became invigorated. He told this story to the abbot of a monastery who had a trouble staying awake during the long prayer vigils. And he made a brew of these berries and found that he was able to stay alert. Other monks followed suit, and pretty soon the story began to spread about the benefits of these berries. But there's another legend, and this time it involves a mystic from Morocco who was traveling through Ethiopia and found that there were some birds eating the berries of a tree, and they became very vigorous. So he tried it himself and found that he too experienced this invigoration. And once again, the story began to spread. Today, there are millions and millions of people around the world who experience the same effects from brewing the beans of the coffee tree. But there's a lingering question. Are we sacrificing health for the enjoyment of coffee? Well, according to a recent study carried out in Asia, the answer is no. And this is a very interesting study because it involved over half a million men and women who had filled out questionnaires about their dining habits and their beverage habits. And they were then followed for anywhere from 6 to 22 years, depending on the study. These were all prospective studies, meaning that they followed the population over a period of time after accumulating data at the beginning of the study. Deaths from all kinds of diseases were recorded. And the data, very, very interesting, because it shows that among coffee drinkers, the overall death rate was decreased during the period of, of study. And this was especially noteworthy for cardiovascular disease and for cancer. Now, of course, this is only one study. And the biggest effects were noted in people who drank at least five cups of coffee a day. However, it is also fascinating that even one cup of coffee had a beneficial effect. Of course, this is only one study, and we never make hay about one single study. However, the literature is full of similar studies that have shown benefits not only for cardiovascular disease and cancer, but also for Parkinson's disease and for type 2 diabetes. So what can we say at this point? That for those people who enjoy their cup of joe on a regular basis, there is no scientific reason to give it up. So enjoy your cup of joe. I do.